Why you had to make me go call up my side guy? He can't let an F boy F up my nice vibe. Yo, Ariana, come let me get you a high five. The light is coming to give back everything the darkness stole. The light is coming to give back everything the darkness stole. The light is coming to give back everything the darkness stole. Hi guys, it's the Ashley TV, and I'm back with another video. So y'all already know the jam. Before we get started, please like, comment, and subscribe. What? Because it's a vibe. So, baby dolls, I'm coming to you guys with how to prep for an elevated girl summer. So, not hot girl summer, not thought girl summer. Elevated girl summer. Ladies, tap in. We about to get to it. But, yes. Are y'all ready? Get your notepads because y'all going to want to write this down. Period. All right, baby. So moving right along number one to prepping for an elevated girl summer and when i say elevated girl summer i mean like we are stepping into our heart highest form our divine feminine we are tapping all the way in we are financially secure we are mentally elevated and stimulated physically our bodies are in the best best form that it's been in honey and we are slaying to the gods so in every aspect of our life, we are winning. And that's what Elevated Girl Summer is about. So let's get to it. Tip number one, prep your week to about a month in advance. So your schedule, if you want to get the maximum amount of productivity, if you want to get those finances in order, if you want to make the most out of the time that you have, prepare your schedule anywhere from a week up until a month, even more if you can. In advance, we are queens that like to stay on time, that don't miss any of our oblig our obligations, and we always get to the bag. So preparation is key, ladies. Period. Number two, honey, if we're going to be looking great, the physical appearance goes into that. Have a great skincare routine and drink lots of water. Y'all already know it's hot outside. It's summertime. We have to stay hydrated. Hydration is key. Speaking of hydration, let me... Sippy sip. Got my water. You already know I got my little sippy cup. Hydration, my love. Working out. So work out at least three to five times a week. We want our body snatched. We want to feel our best selves. And working out allows us to feel happy. It releases a chemical called serotonin. And it has your endorphins process and gives your mind a chemical release of happiness it allows you to be more productive and more focused in your day-to-day -day life so who doesn't want that babies tap in number four honeys if we're going to be looking great feeling great mentally stimulated when we're out and about we are going to network because most of us are bosses even my nine to five ladies we are all bosses we are networking your net worth is your network so when you're out be mindful of that. Get to know people. Talk. Interact. Build your brand. What's the best that can happen? I'm just saying. Okay? It's just that on that. Drop, if y'all are entrepreneurs and if y'all are content creators like myself, drop consistent high quality content. Or if you work a normal job, show up and show out daily. Your reputation and your productivity with work can carry you a long way. Something that I learned, especially working for myself, word of mouth travels fast. And you know what travels faster? Bad reputations. So be mindful of that. And anytime that you're working or providing someone with a service or creating content, whatever it is that you do, put your best foot forward. Honeys, Elevated Girl Summer requires travel. We need to get out. We outside. They finally open everything back up. If you get the opportunity to travel, do so. Even if it's even if it's still in your state, get out. Get out and about. Pamper yourself. Treat yourself. Do things that you haven't got to experience. Life is too short. So why not? We're doing it. We're doing it. Keep your makeup and hair on point. Now, I'm not saying y'all have to have a full face, but if you're going to be wearing makeup, make sure everything's intact. 
brows are very important if you're gonna wear lashes make sure the application's good and do things that make you feel good don't do it for anyone else if you want to do things to look beautiful make sure it's for you honey do styles that make you feel like you the boss with the sauce and the gloss period who bars but yeah fact so do that and make sure that y'all are making yourselves feel confident go don't go looking for value in other people honey we have all the value and love that we need right here so that being said moving right along associate with like-minded individuals the people that you surround yourself the lump sum of people that you surround yourself with are a reflection of you so if you want to be prosperous, if you want to be elevated, if you want to have an elevated girl summer, surround yourself with like-minded people. If you're motivated, you have to hang around motivated people. If you're intelligent, you have to hang out with intelligent people. You don't want to hang out with lazy people that you constantly have to motivate or you don't want to hang out with people that don't have certain aspirations because simply at some point, someone's going to rub off on the other person. And it's a lot easier to turn an apple bad than to turn it back good once it starts to rot. Food for thought. Uh, baby, now this goes with physical appearance. If we're dieting, stick to your diet. Have that discipline. Baby, because your body will love you, it will thank you, and it will pay off. You will look amazing. So, honeys, queens, I understand, you know, we all get to have our cheat day. But if you're doing a diet to make yourself feel good and it's for healthy reasons and it's something that you want to do, be disciplined and stick to it, baby, because we're winning. We're trying to live. We're not even trying. Y'all know I, I don't even know why I be using that word. We're about to just pluck it from my vocabulary. We are living our best lives. So looking our best consists of that. Y'all, be disciplined. That was literally my next one. If you commit to something, discipline yourself to commit to that. To practice something daily so that it's a part of your routine. That it Then it becomes a habit. Then it becomes a lifestyle. Create discipline within your life. In order to change your life, you must have structure and you must change your daily routine. Billionaire tips. Get up early and be productive. If you want to make the most value out of your life, have a high value, high level life, you want to make the most money, you want to live the best, you want to enjoy your lifestyle, enjoy your time, and be able to do that freely, use your time wisely. Don't sleep in because by the time you've already woken up, people like me are halfway done with their day. Be productive. The time is now, especially while you're young or while you still have the energy to take advantage of things, to still create ideas, to still want to move around, and you still have the determination and persistence, take advantage, harness, harness that power, and don't make any excuses. Keep the stress to a minimum. Now, y'all, that's easier said than done. But once you start to realize what you're capable of and you know what you're going to achieve, you then have less patience for things that keep you out of a state of peace. Whether it be objects, whether it be people, whether it be interactions, whether it be something that you do, mannerisms. You're not going to have the same ideals and the same patience that you had for those certain situations and things as you did prior. So it's okay to get rid of it. You're elevating. You're growing. That's the point. Budget and don't spend above your means. In order to live the lifestyle that you want, honey, pay bills first. Create a budget. Set aside. Save. And it may not. you may not be able to do what you want right then. But you'll have your savings account will be full. You won't be in debt. And you'll be able to live the lifestyle that you want whether it take time or not. That's the smarter move. Think smarter, not harder. Tap in. Dupes are okay. So going right along with budget. Sometimes, honey, luxury is not always it. If y'all do want to kind of splurge on a little luxury, maybe a bag, maybe some shoes. But it's okay to get good quality things for cheap. You can wear something that looks this ten dollars and make it look like a million bucks or you could wear something that's a million bucks that looks like ten dollars it's all about the confidence that you carry 
but just be aware of what your means are don't put on and try to be what is it um one of the johnsons y'all know that saying drop it down below if y'all know what i'm talking about but don't try to just keep it keeping up with it is it keeping up with the johnsons keeping up with the joneses i don't really know but don't do that it's unnecessary if you're gonna be elevated do you set the trend set the tone we're not followers over here fun fact Invest in, if you guys are budgeting and you know you like to consistently change your hair and your looks, whatever the case may be, invest in doing it yourself and learning to do it yourself so you can constantly change your hairstyle, constantly change your nails, and constantly change your look. Or find a stylist that is within your budget that you're able to put out that kind of money and make sure that you set aside the money for that if that's what you want to do to be having an elevated girl summer and looking your best beauty is a beauty can be expensive but if it's something that you want budget for it and do it in what best suits you don't go broke trying to be beautiful there's other ways to achieve beauty be hygienic and have a staple scent hygiene 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 Make sure that you take care of yourself, that you shower, that you're aware of your body, possibly body odors. Keep wipes, keep spray, keep lotion. As women, we have to be overly conscious of our body, um, what our sweat glands produce, and just being aware of what we smell like. Also, keep a toothbrush and toothpaste on you because certain things we eat, babies, it will make our breath smell. Keep mints, keep gum, like... You don't ever want to be put in a position to where you could be talking money or talking or networking and you're not smelling your best, but you look great. That's a dub. We can't do that. So be hygienic. Big tip. Always be presentable. So when you carry yourself and you go out, make sure that you look the part, but you're also acting the part. If you have a brand, act like it. You're your brand when you're out. You're your own billboard. Be aware of that. Stay positive. Um, yeah, in general, stay positive. It'll keep you self-motivated. And then people, you will attract people with your positive energy. And from there, it's easy to build. It's easy to network. It's easy to just acquire more in abundance. By just staying positive. Everyone loves positive energy. So y'all be mindful of that. Tap in. Read. Knowledge is power. You can learn more tools to add to your skill set. To add to your tool belt. To elevate. To grow. By reading. Reading is something that will always give you power. And you can constantly evolve and apply what you read into your life. And you can see the differences. So y'all. Definitely. I would suggest if y'all haven't, what I like to do is at least read 10 books a year. But if you're not much of a reader, at least try to do two to three. You'll be surprised with all the knowledge and the things that you learn just from picking up a book. And lastly, y'all, cut off all toxicity. When we're in toxic things, toxic environments, toxic relations, it lowers our vibration and what we're able to attract and the blessings that we're able to receive. So once you're aware that something is toxic to you and it's not benefiting you, cut it, period. Because we're trying to receive all our blessings. This Elevated Girl Summer, that's what we're doing. And y'all, that was my last tip. So thank you guys for watching. Um, comment down below what next video y'all want me to do. And until next time, peace. We out.